Right, here's my basic water setup that I've been promising to tell everybody about for the last few weeks. Um, as you can see, there's a homemade drippy thing here. There's a ruler here to help me gauge so when I start the drops going, I can easily get focus. You've just seen me operate a valve, which I'll explain more about in the blog itself. This can be used to regulate the speed of the drops. You can see the whole rig <clears throat> is basically uh, consisting of retort stands, which you probably remember from chemistry lessons in school. These are then used with the retort clamps to attach the bottle, which basically uses a siphon in order to drop the liquid. So basically you suck on this end, which draws the water through the valve system. You then leave that end higher, which passes the water through the valve, so when you open it, it will drip. Again, I'll explain that action in the words on the blog. <clears throat> the complete lighting system is behind. Um, at the moment I've got three flashes, all with clear gels, pointing at this acrylic sheet, which is basically used as a diffuser. Um, this will give a nice balanced gradiated um, light across the drip tray. Of course I've got two drip trays, one to drip the water into and then another one used as an overflow um, so I don't get water all over my kitchen table. Okay so the only other thing to do is show you it in operation I guess. So we get a nice steady flow going. I've already pre-focused on the ruler and I'm using a release here so I can just time when I need to catch the splash as it enters the water. So now once you've um, fine-tuned the focus you can remove your focus aid and the way I do it is on the noise as I hear the first splash I can then fire the trigger. Of course this will only get splashes and crowns if you want to go for the collisions you need to speed the drop rate up so you've got at least two at a time I'll then use a paper cup. <laughs> yes, it's all fancy equipment here. So you let two drop. And when you get the timing right, you can get some spectacular crashes. It's amazing how many keepers you get in terms of focus. Because once you've got the focus nils, you need to do nothing else other than get the timing correct. So I'll try that again. And I'll post the shots I've took during this session along with the video just to see if we actually got a collision. It's probably very unlikely that I did get a collision during this session because it's been very short. And a, lot of the a lot of the sessions I do can last well, well up to an hour. But with a little perseverance, it just proves what is possible with a piece of basic equipment and no fancy electronics. So, as promised, here are some of the pictures taken during the session you've just watched. There's no collisions, unfortunately, but I have to say I'm quite pleased with the results. I hope you found this small tutorial informative and thank you very much for watching.